hello everyone thank you very much for joining me today is this the first time of being here this is the right place to be okay you really didn't miss the part when you were just moving around you were just you know scrabbling through to see what you're going to watch that is going to impact you yes you didn't make the wrong decision of clicking on this channel thank you very much and i appreciate you for being here uh we share everything positive anything that has to do with motherhood kids you know relatable topics that you know affects one positively let's go impact you positively that's what we share you also inspiring topics sometimes motivational positivity anything okay that's what you're going to get here all right and of course i know the title probably was just what's you know prompted you to watch this video today thank you for coming around all right and if you don't have us and if you love all this i just explained that would be here please don't forget to subscribe and just click on the bell that bell that's close by subscribe signify that we already have new content so you'll be notified and also um like this video right like it it helps us it encourages us the more right like the video you don't pay any dime to do all this just subscribe like you don't pay any dime like and also share to friends and family so that they'll be educated all right on what we do here so let's just get straight into what we'll be having to do just so don't want to waste much time all right so i'll see you around yes you're welcome back thank you for still staying back up to this moment um you're going to learn a lot today especially what we'll be dealing on today i don't know why there is so much it's so frustrating <laughs> Why is there so much cancellation of flights? We know that this virus is just all around right now, especially, you know, the mutation of this virus. You know the virus I'm talking about. I don't want to mention the name because of this platform, all right? You already know the virus I'm talking about that is um, spreading in this recent, you know, period, all right? I don't know if really, and I'm sure, most probably, might be the cause why there is so much cancellation of flights so much cancellation of flight like a lot of people they have um their various um you know engagements that they want to run and most especially for those that are traveling far distances you know those that are traveling far distances and if they have one or two projects that they want to in execute and you'll be told just at the ending okay when you've already prepared just at the verge of moving they'll just call you and tell you that or maybe a friend or maybe the agent that you bought the ticket from just be telling you that your flight has been cancelled it's just so frustrating especially if you have like i said um one or two um you know engagements that you want to to carry out and i just been told that your um, flight has been cancelled it's so frustrating i don't just know what to say about this i know there are a lot of us that are watching me right now do you know what i'm talking about maybe you have been affected in one way or the other and um like i made um some kind of um i just said to do some kind of research to ask will this money be returned back and they say yes it can be refunded but what really um is the most um dreadful thing or most disadvantage of it all is after you finish buying your ticket you're like you're already setting your things in order to travel all right like i said for those traveling far distances and you're just being caught it's not even by refunding back the money that is the most frustrating part the most frustrating part that like i said if you have a project that you want to okay to execute why which is the cost of your traveling or maybe if you have one or two functions to carry out like maybe a burial ceremony and if you're living abroad and you want to take up the flight because most people that have been affected look for those that are living in local environment i'm talking about within okay like it all depends because and i might not even be talking about those that are traveling distances only let's just deal with those also that are traveling in local you know air flight or air crafts all right they are all the same thing because those that are traveling within the um you know the country that you live in if you have um, a project or you have one um an engagement that you want to you know okay to carry out and, and you have been told so it's the same thing okay so i don't know when all this is going to end i'm talking about this virus stuff please we need to always be praying we should just be praying i don't know because uh, sometimes it might not even be um only just the aircraft okay the company of the aircraft or the boeing okay it's not just that it's just the the what's it called the city where they are going to land this airplane or this aircraft they're going to land okay so if there is some kind of cases maybe like most especially our african country where we live in those African parts, because I'm from Africa, I'm from Nigeria precisely, and for those that are living in that part of the places, we know that to maintain this uh, this uh, dreadful pandemic that is going around right now is just so expensive. If we're like from Africa, okay, the government, we know that really they are trying their own part, but 
<laughs> for Africans, really, it, it, somehow to, to defund of even, you know what I'm talking about for the parts of the place where I'm coming from in Nigeria. We know the economic um, situation right now. People are really, uh, a lot of people have been you know, laid off of their jobs. A lot of people, they don't even know where, where they are standing anymore because it just happened suddenly. You know what I'm talking about for those that experienced this last, uh, last year. What just, you know, just came like a struck. People didn't plan that their job, they're going to lose their job. People didn't plan that, you know, um, hospitals will close up and you'll be ha having some cases and you don't even know how to deal with the medical first-hand care, all right? Even nurses were, you know, leaving their jobs because they are scared. Doctors that were leaving their jobs because they are scared. So, for I'm talking about the foreign parts, okay, where we live. Then, for the local parts, like in Nigeria, where I'm coming from, an African country, I don't know how, I'm sure this is just... The reason why most of craft, sorry, are just being cancelled, all right? Maybe they're not able to maintain the situation at the airport, or maybe uh, something just struck, or maybe uh, financially, you know, right? So I don't know when all this is going to end. I just pray that everything is going to be stabilized soon. <laughs> like you already know, I'm a Christian, and we hear um, our men of God, um, you know, a lot of people that are having revelations, all right, about this end time. This is just the end time, all right? And Bible said it that uh, at the end time, nation will rise again, nation there will be dreadful diseases and sicknesses. We just, just ha we have to keep praying for, um, for God's mercy, for God's grace to help us, right? We know that we have sinned, all right? <laughs> and there is nothing that you can't do as a human being to stop the hand of God, all right, from what he has said is going to, you know, to do, to say that his son is going to come. He has said it, and it, like you already know, for those that are Christians, we are churchgoers, uh, we hear it on TV, on media, when you're preaching, you hear it, all right? In the word of God that you read, Please try and read one if you've not, so that what I'm saying right now will not look strange to you. You read it on the word of God, it's going to come like a thief in the night. What I'm saying is because the word, the thing that is happening right now is just what the word of God has said, all right? It's going to be fulfilled, all right? So because when we are addressing this issue, naturally, the disaster of this aircraft cancellation and the rest of them, we have to also go biblical about it because I'm a Christian. We have to also go biblical, all right? Because anything that you're dealing on on the surface and you don't deal with it from the root, it will continue to remain. So the root of this whole thing, all right, is Jesus is coming very, in fact, it's already at the door post. So if you've not accepted him, accept him, all right? So people have done everything because they said there is no medical cure for the virus, all right? So people say there is vaccine. Why there are some that are dying, even in the, even in the vaccine, they said they've already been implemented. So it's just God's message. We just have to be praying. And if you are going now, just continue to pray for your kids. Now, most of these schools are laying off their kids, all right? My kid right now is at home because they said, their class they have a broke you know um, a breakout somebody just you know a kid all right so this um infection or this virus is not only for uh, like oh god will have mercy for the babies uh, even um children also contracted adults also contracted so all right so it's affecting schools already for those that are living in in uh in the foreign lands all right you know what I'm talking about. Most in US and um, um, Europe countries, a lot of their schools are closed up for months. So this is not just what we want to you know, continue to live with. So we should just continue to pray that let's just go, just have mercy, have mercy, protect us. Like I said, uh, your first hand um, care. Make sure you take care of your first hand care, your first hand precautions. Yes. Your first-hand precautions are very important. Some of us that are religious, yes, I'm talking about Christianity. And okay, I brought in um, terms of Christianity. What's really this um, things that's happening around right now? Where it's coming from? Yes, that Jesus is coming soon. But don't tell yourself because you're a Christian, you're a child of God. I know. Yes, God can do it. We have the faith that will not be affected or affected with this virus. But please, some people they just just shut up their ears, like shut up their eyes like they say oh, those things are for the people of the world it will not come to us please not because of that you will not take care of yourself please make sure you take care of your first hand um precautions you have been told you already know even little children already know this uh um, and this um this slogan i wash your hands they even use it as a song in their school right now they sing it at home here all right wash your hands whenever you go out wash your hands wash it already they even showed my kids how they are going to be doing it on video right so if little kids are learning these things i don't, don't tell yourself that no 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 and also if you have the symptoms like fever symptoms please go 
first of first hand go and you know to your doctor and try to find out you know all right do tests all right don't say i'm a christian so come near me you know please take care of yourselves now wash your hands when you're going out um most of these playgrounds over here that i live have been closed they've closed up some places the kids playground the garden they closed shops are closing <laughs> oh god i don't know i don't even know where we are you know running to right so that's why we should not be scared all right don't be scared because this is just what the devil wants to bring up to cause us fear all right cancellation of lights you know schools are shutting down shops right now even most um, houses where you people go to enlighten like i'm talking about where you meet up all right schools where you meet up you do some games you go to shops to get things you so people just weekends they just want to have a weekend get away all right they go to parties so this, this there is no you just left there being locked up so please be praying that what happened last year shouldn't happen <laughs> this year all right because uh, this thing is just getting out of hand so thank you very much hope you enjoyed everything that i shared today please like i'm saying again don't forget to like this video i said you don't pay a dime to do this thing subscribe no money all right like there is no money to pay also share when you share no money because what i just shared right now so people are still being confused about what is happening i told you in the midst of this discussion i was just you know, relating to you that this thing is just the end time for those that are not christians they, they tell you that oh it's not true that jesus is not coming don't mind those things they are saying if it's not true please go back to the word of god prophecy do happen it do happen if you have not accepted jesus please accept him all right so thank you very much once more hope you love what we share and if you love us to do something like this more don't forget to do these things like to subscribe like share all right leave your comments again i forgot just leave every comment there all right on the comment sessions i just want us to interact and the only way i can do that is just through comment sessions so i love you all bye